What do you do when you have negative slope and you have water laying up against the foundation of your house? Water is silent. You don't know it's doing the damage until the damage is already done. It will do tens of thousands of dollars worth of damage to the foundation of your home. You have to get this water away from the structure. You have to get it out and around the building if there's negative slope. All right, we have a job where we have negative slope. We have high ground back here. Water's coming through. Look at, you can see in the video how much negative slope we got. And it's hard to see slope. You can have a real steep hill usually and you can't see it in the video or pictures, but you can see how much higher the houses are in the subdivision on the street right behind us. So the guys did a really great job. I'm gonna explain to you what they did. Water was laying up against the bed area here. Man, this is beautiful work. This is really, really beautiful work. So the guys went ahead and they put in a double pipe trench drain. This one is tied into the downspout. I know that you guys always wanna see this. So this is our discharge line for this side of the house. This is a four inch main. You can see that the guys went underneath the sprinklers. We're deep. We do have fall. What a beautiful job. This is some really, really meticulous work. This pipe is perfect. There's no bellies in it. We look at all the sprinkler mains. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That is just crazy. That is just crazy. Seven sprinkler mains that we had to go under right here. So this is the clean out right here. We got six risers and a solid cover. Look at that. This is a nice clean out. They maintain slope. They did a beautiful job. We have a downspout on a three inch pipe. And then we have the French drain coming down here. This is a beautiful job, well executed. They have the clean outs in the right locations. Everything's spot on. It doesn't get any better than this. This is textbook. When you get to learn from this crew and watch what this crew's doing, it's really something. So this is a sediment trap and it's also a clean out. I like to put one of these when we go from our French drain system to our discharge line. Anytime you transition from your perforated pipe to your solid discharge line, you want to have one of these in place. So you can see that we're quite deep here. We got six risers, and because it's in the grass, we have the solid six inch green cover. Now you can see that the downspout also has a sediment trap, and it's in the landscape. So it has a black turf restrictor plate with a solid four inch plug. Look at that, it's so elegant, gets lost in the landscape, just in the shadows. Beautiful textbook install here. It don't get any better than this. Vented clean out leaf filter on a riser to the French drain man's not quite a 90 to our three inch plus to a sediment trap. Then we have a Y to the four inch Y. Always use a Y, never use a T. When you're doing roof runoffs in a discharge line, you wanna keep the flow. You only have to tie in one French drain pipe. That's it. That'll drain it. Plug the other one so that, so that it doesn't fill full of stone. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. That pipe has no bellies in it, and it is on the perfect pitch. It's on the perfect slope. Man, is that beautiful. This is some really, really nice work. Look at this, grabbing up all that water. All that water comes and gets hung up right here at the house. I'm gonna show you all the high ground. Negative slope, negative slope. People are always asking me, I got negative slope, what do I do? You pipe it around your house. 
this system here goes that way and discharges. There's a downspout that also gets tied in, but it's not being tied in to the French drain system. Notice how the men did not tie this downspout into that French drain. You don't want to fill your perforated pipe full of shingle gravel. That's a terrible thing. You don't want to do that. So they ran it on its own line and they ran a three inch line. Now the French drain and that downspout line merge right here. Right here we have a three by four coupler and we are, we're using a four inch Y. Beautiful tie-in, beautiful tie-in of this three inch corrugated pipe to this four inch Y by using this three to four coupler on a four inch Y. Then we go to a solid discharge line. Anytime you go from your perforated pipe to your solid discharge pipe, you want a clean out. This is a great place to put a clean out for a couple of reasons. One, if you ever want to inspect this discharge line, you can. You can even inspect the main French drain line if you want. You can see the men have six risers to bring that to grade. They're quite deep and they're under seven sprinkler lines. They have the green cover in the lawn. And then they have the black cover with the four inch solid cap in the landscape on the sediment trap for the roof runoff system. That's just gonna get lost in the shadows. So the men did a really nice job with this pop-up at the end of this discharge line. I just wanted to show their work. This is textbook. Look at this, this is perfect. They have a big piece of drainage fabric, a bunch of drainage stone around this pop-up emitter. They did not tape the pop-up emitter to that downspout line. That's actually our discharge line for a French drain and a downspout. Everything shoots this way, this water here, and the water from here, all the way through here, goes out a discharge line to the street over here. Before you put your sod back on, you can see we have sod right here. Before you put that back on, you want to take your plywood, or in this case we have turf mats, stand them up, kick all the dirt off. Work smarter, not harder. All right, everybody wants to see the, uh, the finished product. Okay, so right here. We have our discharge on this side of the house to a pop-up. We can get inside here. If any tree seeds float down there. Look at this, beautiful. Put a little grass seed down, a little straw in a couple areas. Right here is that clean out. There's a six inch cover right there. Six inch solid cover. We're gonna prevent any clogs because we have a leaf filter on here. So our downspout adapter to the four inch pipe is a leaf filter. Now this is the French drain. It's a covered French drain.
really really nice work really nice work so we got we got bark on it and grass on it beautiful if you found any of this information helpful give us a thumbs up it supports the channel if you have any questions regarding this installation leave them in the comment section i'm your host robert sherwood and until the next video